We live in a world that tells us it's okay to skip steps. Tells us we should always be looking for a shortcut or a hack. Tells us we should constantly be chasing what's new and what's flashy and what's shiny and what's sexy. But I'm here to tell you when you do those things, you are making a huge mistake. And that's because the basics work. They always have and they always will. Now the reason I'm here is also very basic. And that is to add as much value to your lives and your businesses as I possibly can in our very short time together. Before I worked with the world's biggest brands, I worked with the world's top basketball players. The first time I met Kobe Bryant, he said something to me that changed my life forever. He said, Kobe, I don't understand. You're the best player in the world. Why were you doing such basic drills? And he flashed that million dollar smile. He gave me a friendly wink, but he said in a very serious tone, why do you think I'm the best player in the world? Because I never get bored with the basics. Just because something is basic, it doesn't mean that it's easy. People mistakenly use those words as if they're interchangeable. Just because it's basic, it doesn't mean it's easy. Some of my most impactful leadership lessons I learned as a father. So as you know, I have 13-year-old twin sons and an 11-year-old daughter. And I decided to bring my sons, Luke and Jack, with me because I figured this would be a great bonding experience, a great boys weekend, a great chance for them to see what their dad does for a living. And I gotta be honest, I was in the zone. I was absolutely killing it. You know, kind of like right now. <laughs> and about midway through my keynote, I looked out at the table where my sons were sitting, expecting to see them sitting up tall, beaming, hanging on every word. And instead I see my son Jack dead asleep on the table and his twin brother, Luke, is building a pyramid out of my extra business cards. <laughs> Neither one of them was listening to a single thing I was saying. So once again, if you need a reminder that it's not about you, I encourage you to have kids. The function of that chair you're sitting in is to provide somewhere for you to sit. The purpose of that chair is to provide you comfort. Purpose has a much, much deeper meaning than function. The function of what you all do is you sell real estate, you sell homes, that's the function. That's what you do, that's not who you are. Who you are is much deeper. What you provide someone is much deeper. What's the actual purpose when you sell a home to someone? You're selling them their dream. You're selling them an opportunity to make memories, to build a family. The home is arguably the number one tangible asset that anyone will ever invest their money in. That's what you all are a gateway to. So don't ever confuse what you do for who you are. In addition to sharing stories and stats, I take pride in providing practical, actionable takeaways. It is not what you say, it's what they hear that matters. The standards you set today will determine who and where you'll be tomorrow. You'll never improve something you're unaware of. You'll never fix something you're oblivious to. Awareness is always the first step to improvement. Holding someone accountable, it's something you do for them. It's not something you do to them. W-I-N, it stands for what's important now. When you shift the focus off of what you want from people and you shift it to what you want for people, you become the most magnetic leader in any room immediately. As you can see, just because something is basic in premise doesn't mean that it's easy to execute. I strive to blend intensity with warmth and humor and aim to engage every audience. A few weeks ago, my sons, Luke and Jack, were doing what twin sons do. They were kind of arguing and bickering with each other. And it was starting to wear on my patience and I politely told them a few different times to please, please knock it off, but they kept doing it. And it finally got to the point that I looked at my son, Jack, and I said, Jack, you're irritating me. Knock it off. And Jack smirked and said, Dad, I'm not irritating you. You're choosing to be irritated. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have children. And you realize in your seats, when you attend an event like this, generally speaking, do you know the only time that you even know the AV team exists? Is when something messes up, right? Messes up, right? The AV team, the success of their vocation hinges on 800 people not even knowing they exist. 
talk about pressure. And the reason I say that is I promise you there are people on your team and people working for your brand that make the vast majority of their contributions during the unseen hours. And it's really important that you shine a light on that and you acknowledge them and rep them. So one more time, please give a round of applause to the AV team. I trust you, I believe in you, and I know you're good enough. Let's try it one more time and then I'll take my final bow and we'll be done. All right, here we go, you got this. As you all can see, you still have some work to do, so please do it. Thank you guys. Thank you.